hello and welcome to another video on the Bloom White Army YouTube channel. Now today I'm doing my match review for Crawley vs Oldham. I wasn't at the game, if you looked on the channel there was a video yesterday of me at Huddersfield vs Arsenal. It was just a ground hop because there was no chance I was getting down to Crawley. Really annoying because I like to go to as many games as possible but I think I'll only really be missing Exeter and maybe Newport for the rest of the season. So hopefully I can get lots more videos out now. Before we get into anything, I'm on 267 subs. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel because it would really help. We're aiming for 300 subs as fast as possible. Can't really set a good goal. Now, one more thing. Throughout February, I am trying to vlog every single home game I go to. And at away games, I'm trying to do Oldham fans at every game. Of course, Markham got cancelled, which didn't help. But now I've got to make, like, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday videos which will be uh, quite nice. Anyway, let's get into the main video. So, of course, yesterday it was Oldham Crawley, why I'm talking about this, and Oldham won 3-0. Right, so I think the last time that we won 3-0 must have been... Oh, I can't actually remember, but I know the last time we won by three goals, it must have been Port Vale. Um, now, according to one football, our best player yesterday, as voted for by the fans, was Mahabin Mausch. I didn't watch the game, I am not sure about that, though, because I heard... Zach Danley was very good when he was on, and Johan Branger was second on them, which I think is quite funny because uh, Branger's probably one of the most hated of Oldham players, which is probably it's nice for him to score, of course. Um, yeah, most people on one football again predicted an Oldham win. Um, apparently, we seem really decent. It's nice that Danley was good, our other striker wasn't there which wasn't the best. We sat set up with like a 4-4-2 again, of course with Lang playing and Stott at left back. For our defence to keep a clean sheet, that's good. And for Iverson to get, I think it was his 11th clean sheet of the season so far. That is absolutely brilliant doing for him. Um, we played really well. It's nice to see a 3-0 win for us. I daily score in and on some of the highlights. He looks to make some really good runs, especially the one for Braga's free kick. And then, what a free kick from Branger to put that into the uh, top left corner. That's a superb free kick. And then, uh, Nep, he plays really well all games. But the game move out of left back, he scores a goal. So, that shows something. Now, it has been quite an eventful week here at Oldham with all the Paul goal stuff. He was meant to be announced at 6 30 yesterday. Mike Miner has just put out a tweet saying he won't even be announced today. Now, it's Sunday. Uh, so,. He's put out his classic simple one for Sunday. And we need the manager in soon. Now, I know Skulls is allowed. Just announce him. I know that he's probably already done and they're just waiting to get him announced Monday or something. Uh, yeah, because you need all the media there, it would make sense, wouldn't it, for us to do it on Monday. But as long as we announce a manager before the games, that was definitely Pete Wilde's last game. Which is a bit of a shame, of course, after all he's done, but it's been 50 days without a manager. That just shows that we're not the best and we needed to get someone in. And hopefully Skulls can do well. Paul Ince has uh, rattled quite a few Oldham fans, hasn't he? But, no, I think what he said was partially correct from his view of, well, why has he not gone to a bigger club, maybe? Yeah, Paul, you did start off your career at Macclesfield and then you flopped as a manager. But that is true what he said, but Oldham's his local club, he supports Oldham, you see him in and around the area quite a bit, so it makes sense for Skulls. Anyway, I said all the stuff about subscribing earlier, make sure to check out my video from yesterday, it's kind of a vlog, it's like a ground hot vloggy type video. Yeah, uh, we're on 217 views on that so far, so cheers for all the support on that video, and I will be back with either a preview tomorrow for Yeovil or I will just do the vlog. I'm never really sure whether I do previews and reviews with vlogs and stuff. I'm not really sure how that works. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.